Biteable is an excellent tool for quickly sharing your ideas in a really visually appealing way that doesn't require a lot of you know, fussing around with the formatting. So to get started, simply click on the big blue get started button. And then you'll actually have the option to sign up or sign in with Google so you don't have to remember another login and there's no unfortunate I can't remember my password situations. So once you are in Biteable, uh, you can create a new video here. And I always suggest starting from scratch. The templates are nice, but you'll, you'll want to create something that makes sense for the topic that you're discussing. Then I click start from scratch. Got to give it a title. And then from there, it's a lot of rinse and repeat steps. So you'll be using scenes and there are a series of different scenes that you can choose from. As you can see, there's a lot with different backgrounds. And when you hover over them, different animations that work with you, which is awesome. So we just find one that we like. How about this one here? And then you just enter your text. And then you can preview the scene, which is going to show a little bit of what it might look like. And that's pretty much all there is to it. When you're ready, you add another scene. Making sure that in the midst of all of these, you're finding one that has a little more to do with your topic than something else. So there's a lot you can choose, but make sure that what you are choosing isn't distracting away from the main points that you have. Like this one here, this one might work really well. There's a type of energy being used in that situation. And you continue through this process as you add your scenes. The nice thing about this is you can only type a certain amount of characters. It might let you go past that, but it's not going to look very good. So the focus is really on quick ideas. So you can have a lot more of these down here. Just keep putting slides in because then it's visually appealing. And next, you can pick the colors and the color palette of your slides. Uh, if you go to color palettes, these are colors that are complementary that go together. So these might not be bad ones to choose. That must be the color palette I already have. There we go. And then next we can edit audio. So you can choose a little soundtrack that's going to go behind your biteable. And so there's a lot of different options here. And so you want it to be catchy but not annoying, seeing as people are you want people to stay and watch the entire thing. Uh, and then when you're ready, you click preview and build your preview. Now it looks like it's going to take about three minutes. So we will come back in three minutes. You should get this screen if it's working properly. And so you'll just have to come back to it when it's ready. They say they're going to email you, but you cannot get emails from outside of the district. So you'll have to just check back at the site when it is ready. And now here's my example. So those are really cute short videos and when you're done you just publish the video and now it's public and now you can share this with anyone else you can include a description and 
here's the link that you would use to share it up here. You're ready to take a bite in a creative project.